You guys, I always go and volunteer at the beach on Earth Day if I can. And for the first time in a long time, I won't be cleaning it. Not that there's anything wrong with cleaning the beach, but I'm so stoked about this organization I'm working with. Stay tuned. and welcome to Defining Good. I'm Rachel Parker Chavez, and I'm here because I think it makes so much sense to use business to create good in the world, and that's what these videos are all about. How to build a business that makes the world better, which we talk a lot about here, but also looking at brands and businesses that are doing it right, and what we can learn from them. So in preparation for Earth Day coming up in a few weeks, I wanted to do a quick list and overview of 10 brands that are helping make the Earth a little bit better and what we can learn from them. Now, even if you don't think the environment is something you're particularly concerned about, the truth is that people and the planet are inextricably linked. And if you care about people or animals, you have to care about protecting the planet too. It would not be a great list if I didn't include one of the big ones, Patagonia. They've been focused on reducing environmental impact for decades. But something that's really cool that you might not know about them is their worn wear program. Fast fashion and overconsumption is terrible for the planet. And one amazing way to combat it is through high quality clothes that can be repaired so you don't need to buy more of them, which is what worn wear is all about. Don't you love that? Now, if you don't own any clothes from Patagonia, the lesson really is, is that we should be repairing our clothes instead of throwing them away. Now, when you do want to buy new clothes, consider the brand Alternative, a clothing brand offering men and women's basics that are sustainable and ethically made. So this isn't always an easy combo to find, which is why I think they're so great. Investing in using less water, eco and organic fabrics, non-toxic and low-impact dyes, and recycled poly materials while at the same time working with factories that have fair and safe workplace conditions. Now, if you're anything like me, you like your comfy clothes. Truth be told, I spend a fair amount of time in stretchy pants, even when I'm not at the gym at all. So you can imagine my sadness when a friend of mine sent me an article about new research showing that these materials that usually make these clothes are terrible for the environment. It's going into the ocean, it's bad news. And I was so stoked to find the brand Soulflower. Soulflower is an organic clothing company that sells everything from accessories to baby clothes. But my favorite thing is their workout line, which is made with organic cotton and low impact dyes. Now we're not just gonna talk about fashion, but I wanted to give you one more brand just in case you need something earth friendly for your feet. And if you do, check out the People's Movement. They're a shoe company focused on reducing single use plastic and doing something about all this garbage in the ocean by making shoes with it and other eco-conscious materials like a nickel free metal and organic cotton. What I think this brand does really well is explaining the issue they're trying to solve. It's right there on their website. You can see it and link out to other information instead of just saying they're trying to help. I think that's great. Now, if you want some personal products that are also really good for the environment, check out Lush. Lush is focused on all kinds of personal care products that aren't tested on animals and are ethically sourced, but what I think is really cool when it comes to the environment is their naked packaging, which drastically reduces the amount of waste with their products like shampoo bars that get rid of the packaging altogether, and where packaging is necessary, they use post-consumer recycled plastic bottles and biodegradable bags. Next up is a company that recently started really focusing even more on their environmental impact, and that's Peak Design. They make a lot of gear, specifically for photographers, but the bags are really for anyone, and they're beautiful and made with the environment in mind. Plus, they have some really cool policies, like a product lifetime guarantee to keep more out of landfills, and they help fund organizations working to protect the planet. I love that Peak Design is focused on helping the environment outside of just their product scope. Some really cool stuff going on over there. Now, if you're looking for something good for the environment and cool for your home, check out Pure Plant Home Candles. They make hand-poured vegan candles with coconut wax and essential oils. Now, what's really cool about these all-natural candles is that coconut wax is by far one of the most environmentally friendly options that we know of, as coconuts are considered a fairly renewable resource. No trees are cut down and no animals are harmed. Yay for those of us who love candles, but no, they're not so great for the environment. Now candles make your home smell fresh and clean, but you may also need some actual cleaning products. Nelly's All Natural offers all natural cleaning products for your bathroom, kitchen, and laundry that are free of chemicals and biodegradable. I'm a big fan of this one. Now if you don't want to do the dishes, or you're gonna be feeding people away from home and don't wanna use the paper and plastic that's terrible for the earth, check out the company Bamboo. They make compostable dinnerware that's not only really pretty, but it's made from certified organic renewable bamboo. And the coolest part is that when you're ready to dispose of it, it doesn't have to go to a landfill. We use those plates at our wedding, so I'm kinda of biased. They're really great. But one thing I didn't have at my wedding that I would have loved is earth-friendly wine. If I had to do it over again, one thing I would love to have known about is Ecolove wines. 
Ecolove takes an organic and sustainable approach to farming, composting, and winemaking. They also use recycled glass for their bottles, natural inks for labeling, and purchase carbon credits to offset any unavoidable emissions. And wine is as good a place as any to end our list. I hope it's helpful as you begin or continue your journey in the social goods space. I'll add all the links to the brands in the written part of this post. And I'm not an affiliate or anything, so you don't have to use those links. You can find it elsewhere. But check them out. The Earth will thank you. And it's always good to support other social entrepreneurs. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to send them my way. If you like this video, especially if you know other people who are trying to live a more conscious life, please share it with them. And don't miss a thing by signing up for Defining Good updates, tools, and free resources on defininggood.com. Remember, you have a unique voice and a distinct circle of influence. So you can choose to ignore it or you can use it to change the world. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. They make compostable? Compostable. Compostable? Was Earth-friendly wine? Earth, Earth.